Hello everyone and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 video tutorial where we're going to show you how to create your own actor through face fitting. So in Crazy Talk we have the content manager and we can choose any of the default actors that come with the software. Likewise we can go back and we can customize these actors with other types of eyes or teeth. But what if you want to create your own actor? What if you want to use your own image or photograph and you want to animate that? Well, that's not a problem. We simply go up here to the top toolbar and, and click on Create New Actor. Immediately, we get prompted with a menu. We can either import a previously saved model, I can use the onboard computer camera to take a picture of myself, or I can import an image. When I open up my folder, I can choose one of the saved images that I have inside. So I'll choose this Samuel L. Jackson photo. Okay. And straight off the bat, I have to mention something. When you animate an image in Crazy Talk 7, it is always a good idea to choose an, uh, a, a picture that is looking straight at the camera, that has no expression, and preferably an image that is not smiling. I have an example here of a young lady. Let me close this. This is a, a, an image that is ideal for animating. It's looking straight at the camera, there is no expression on the face, and the mouth is closed. But if you do not have an image like that, no worries. Crazy Talk 7 can still help you animate that. So let's go back and open our image. Okay? So inside the image processing area, I have several tools. I can rotate my image if I need to. And I can also adjust the color balance and the color levels if my if I need to correct my image okay I also have the crop tool I can use this crop tool to crop any unwanted segments or if I only want to use the face of my image once I crop that I click on apply and then I click on next the next step is the anchor points here I have to drop in all these anchor points on the edge of the eyes and the mouth so you'll notice that in Crazy Talk, we have an illustrated guide on the right. Just follow that. Uh, it's very, very simple, and the wizard will guide you through every process. So once I do that, I click on Next. And then we go into the Face Fitting Editor. Now this part is very important. I need to encompass my face inside all these points. Again, just follow the illustrated guide on the right side, and you will be okay. Let me drop these points right here. Okay. Right at the edge of the face. Now I want to zoom in. And I want to show you something. When you are you are setting these, these points, you need to make sure that your facial features are aligned. What do I mean? For example, I have the eyebrows here. I want to make sure that the left point of my eyebrow is aligned with the left point of my eyes. Okay, this will ensure that I have proper uh, face fitting. So right here on the right side also, the at point of the eyebrow, and I want to align that with the right point of my eye. I do the same for the left, the left eye. The right limit, right limit, left limit, and left limit. Okay, right about there. We also do the same for the nose. Now, I have to mention that maybe sometimes your nose will be smaller than the mouth. So you don't want to stretch those points to align it with, um, with the edge of the mouth, which will be wider. But you do want to make sure that the center of the nose is aligned with the mouth. Okay? Top of the head is okay, and the bottom of the chin. Great. Now, the next part is to go to the detailed fitting process. Right up here, we click on that and now we have more points to work with okay um, here you might ask what is the difference between this wireframe and the wireframe outside okay the difference is that this wireframe here is for the face so you want to encompass everything um, inside to make sure the face is, 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 is marked by these points let me get the chin the jaw right about there okay so that is that wireframe is for the face the outer wireframe is what we call the crown this is very useful if your actor has a lot of hair or if you have let's say a hat 
Or if you have an animal, let's say you're, you're animating a lion with a big mane, you want to encompass that inside the crown area. You also want to do the same with the ears. Okay, so let me zoom in a bit. And I want to properly align the points. Remember, the eyebrow has to be centered with the eye. What about there? Center of the eyebrow, center of the eyes. And don't forget the nose and the mouth. Center, center of the mouth, and right there. Okay, great. So I'm doing this pretty quickly. I want to show you another feature. Inside the fitting editor, we also have the calibration panel on the right side. The calibration panel is very, very useful when you are fitting these points because once you fit them in, you want to see what they look like. So I can choose calibrate all. Up, down, And you left. can see that my face is already being animated. If I would like to test my eyes. Eyes closing and blinking. Okay, great. Later on when we fine tune our actor, we can come back and we can adjust these points if we need to. Now I want to click on next here and I will go into the face orientation panel. Now this one is very important, okay? Here I need to make sure that my face is properly fitted into this face mask, this orientation mask. So the, the main thing is to make sure that the central line is cutting right through the middle of my face. And I also want to make sure that this horizontal bar here is parallel to the eyes. So let me play around with this until I find that orientation that makes it fit properly. Let me play around with it a bit. I'd say right about there we're okay. Great. Now we have to choose the face style. We go to the right side and we'll see that I have this on human. But if I, for example, was animating a, a human with a long nose, I can choose this face profile. Also, if I am animating a pet, let's say a, a lion, a dog, a cat, then I would like to choose the long snout. So right now I'm on human and I can preview and I can move my mouse around and you can see that image start coming to life. But just for argument's sake, I will cancel this and I will go out into my actor custom folder and I have an image of a lion, okay? This lion has a long snout. So I will go back to the face orientation panel, make sure it's aligned, yes. And let me show you something. I will click on human and you will see the 3D effect on the nose and the face, okay? Now, if I stop this and I choose a long snout, you will see the 3D perspective really come about. You can see the snout. See how it's moving? So that's the difference between the face styles. So for example, this is a lion, but if you're animating, let's say a cat, you might want to use a short snout for that type of animal. Okay, so let me cancel this and I'll go back out and I have, I'll bring in Samuel L. Jackson again. And there we go. And that's how easy it is to create my own custom actor in Crazy Talk 7.